Hello guys and welcome to another video of coordinator tutorial series. In this tutorial I will be discussing some theory on how the MVC structure in coordinator works and everything about our architecture of coordinator. So if you already familiar with it or not interested in it you can simply move to another video where I will start the coding. So I found this picture on the internet about the architecture so it is simple that in request goes to index.php and then to the routing and then if caching are available and simply it displays the results it, this is how caching works if you don't know then simply ignore it but this is how the coordinator works simply index.php route the results to the security and check if user is authorized to see the page then it moves to the application controller so here is the controller controller actually manages all the request controls all the requests coming from the index.php and connects the application with business logic and the database and everything and then view renders the view and then cache the page and index.php so here we come system folder system folder is actually not uh, for our use for now it contains all the core codes and the core files which have the framework to run and our application and make our coding easy in coordinator so here is the application folder it has all the files and config files we will be seeing in the next video as we move controller where we'll be creating new controllers models where we create new models and views and third party libraries and hooks and helpers helpers are very useful in uh, coordinator and then at the end cache we will be discussing each in the next upcoming tutorials so this is it for now in the next tutorial i will be creating our first controller the user controller and if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you in next video